The somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system are both divisions of the peripheral nervous system. So what do we mean by the peripheral nervous system? Well, the word peripheral means outside. So we're talking about all nerve cells outside of the central nervous system. The central nervous system and peripheral nervous system are interdependent. That is, the central nervous system needs the sensory organs that are part of the peripheral nervous system to provide it with information about the outside world. But also, in terms of our behaviour, the command, i.e. movement, is initiated in the central nervous system. In order for that command to be executed, we need activation of the skeletal muscles in the peripheral nervous system. The somatic nervous system is responsible for voluntary actions, specifically movement of the skeletal muscles, that is, muscles attached to bones which enable movement. Along with the motor function, the somatic nervous system also has a sensory function, which we'll talk about shortly, and it's involved in the reflexive arc. In terms of the sensory function of the somatic nervous system, sensory information is detected by the various sensory organs in the body, such as the skin receptors, eyes, tongue, ears, nose, etc. And this afferent information is conveyed to the brain via the spinal and cranial nerves, thus providing the brain with information about the outside world. In terms of the motor function of the somatic nervous system, the command is initiated in the brain, of course, and these efferent messages are conveyed to the skeletal muscles, which leads to motor contractions and hence movement via the spinal and cranial nerves. And again, this is mainly a voluntary process. There are some actions that are controlled by the somatic nervous system that are involuntary, that is, it's involved in the reflex arc, as well as actions such as adjusting your po posture when you're in a chair which you generally don't do under conscious control unless your attention is drawn to that. The autonomic nervous system, as the name implies, operates autonomously, that is, independent of conscious control of the brain. It's concerned with the body's internal environment, keeping those vital internal organs operating at all times, that is, heart rate, stomach contractions, urine production, pupil dilation or constriction depending on how much light there is, etc. Now the autonomic nervous system relies on feedback from the brain in order to regulate optimal levels of functioning of these internal organs. And again, this is a largely autonomous process. Although there are some functions controlled by the autonomic nervous system that can be controlled consciously. For instance, you can blink voluntarily, you can increase your breathing rate, etc. And techniques such as yoga, meditation, biofeedback attempt to control these automatic responses and we'll learn a bit more about that in Unit 4, Area Study Number 2, Mental Health. There are two divisions of the autonomic nervous system and I will devote a future clip to that, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So let's summarise some of the key differences between the somatic and the autonomic nervous system. In terms of the environment, the somatic nervous system is largely concerned with the external environment, whereas the autonomic nervous system is largely concerned with our internal environment, that is, our vital organ functioning. In terms of the type of muscle regulation, the somatic nervous system deals with the skeletal muscles, which enable movement, whereas the autonomic nervous system is concerned with the visceral mu muscles, which keep our vital organs going without conscious thought. In terms of the major function, well, the somatic nervous system's got a dual function in terms of conveying that sensory information to the central nervous system so that we can process information about the outside world, but also the motor function in terms of enabling movement of those skeletal muscles. The autonomic nervous system main function of course is to keep those vital organs going without conscious thought. And probably the key distinguishing point between the somatic and the autonomic nervous system is the somatic nervous system 
we're talking about largely voluntary actions, whereas we're largely talking about involuntary actions in terms of operating those vital organs without conscious thought.